There we go. Is it the mic? Yeah, yeah, it's the mic. Oh my god, I love the Perfect, got it, got it, done, fun. guys. Guys, I fixed that problem. <laughs> Thank you. I think it works fine. No, so, Gina, you gotta hold, you gotta hold, yeah, hold it like that. Like, hold it in. Find a penny. Yeah, Gino. Remember the last time you had sex, you had to hold it in? Uh, legal sex? Okay, uh... Are you guys ready for your next roast battle? Come on, guys. Yeah. All right, this one is going to be a three-rounder, so the first round is going to be tip for tat. Second round is 30 seconds each. If it goes to the third round, we're going to need uh, another tip for tat round. Your first roaster, uh, you might recognize her if you work in a hospital and you heard about a girl who came in with Emmy-shaped bruises. Clap it up as loud as you can for Karen Margolis. Karen Margolis, let her hear it. How are you? She's so sweet. I'm okay. How do you feel? You're, you're roasting one of your very best friends. How do you feel about this? I'm, I am ready. I just went to Who Wrote Caitlin's Jokes and I got all the shit I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shots fired. Never shots fired, guys. What is going on? Gino, just unplug the mic and just yeah. shut that liquor. Don't you, you worry know about that it. You, Gino, what you're saying is as bad as what the mic is doing. So <laughs> stop. <laughs> Oh, really? You're gonna turn Captain Clap a lot? Gino, you don't even need a mic. You're fucking Gino. Give me this. You just scream. To trash. You can just scream at any time you want. You're fine. Fantastic. Um, there we go. Woo! Guys, uh, your next roaster went from being a high-priced prostitute to being a no-priced open micer. Clap it up as loud as you can for Caitlin Bailey. Caitlin Bailey, guys. Those pants are so shitty. I know. They really are. But what? they were very expensive, so. <laughs> Boo. Thanks. Uh, there's a lot of girl power in the room right now. Are you intimidated? I am a little bit intimidated. Yeah. Because I have an erection. I can't think. All the blood is in my dick right now. I get it. You've got a beautiful woman that are in the room right now. Uh, so how do you feel about your, your opponent right now? This is one of your very good friends. Do you yeah. feel like uh, she, she took some shots already at you? How do you feel about her as an opponent? I mean, I think I'm ready. We're both ready to do this. You're both so ready to do, do it? it? If you guys don't start kissing, everyone's going to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah. We're both kind of anti badge Whatever. Um, <laughs> I thought he was talking to the judges. I, uh, all right. I guess, uh, Karen, do you want to go first or do you want to defer to Caitlin? Defer, defer, defer. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> go first. I'm nice. I wanted to toss a coin, but I didn't have any. Oh, You're Jewish, do you have any? Again? Yeah, thank you, Caitlin. Just fucking do, Just pick. Go. You, okay. you want to go first? All right, Karen Margolis, Caitlin Bailey, let's roast. Okay. I just want to say first of all, I'm not really a comic. Honestly, this is like, I've been on stage like maybe three times, and I make most of my money just putting weed in little vials. Like, I don't, I don't do this that much. But me and Caitlin have all the same credits, and we're on the same show! Yay! We're equal! Yay! If I win, you should kill yourself! <laughs> oh, great. Uh, Karen spells her name K-E-R-E-N. Uh, it's pronounced Karen, although most people pronounce it Kurt Metzger's girlfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's really brave that Caitlin used to use her sexuality to make money, and now... She uses her jokes to make silence. <laughs> oh. Karen is like a puppet. Everything she says comes from a creepy man with his hand up her ass. <laughs> really know this, but Caitlin really cares about breast cancer because she's always one double mastectomy away from no one ever listening to her speak ever. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Karen, being a comic, uh, I'm sorry, fucking a comic is not the same as being a comic, all right? It's, no, it's not. It's not like the HPV he gave you. You can't catch comic. Yes! That's me! That's me. So I went to Caitlin's one-woman show, Contagious. Maybe you guys heard of it, probably not. And honestly, she broke down a lot of stereotypes for me. Like, I thought everyone with a big head was smart. But no, she put that show on her own credit card. Amazing. Karen is Jewish, but she doesn't look Jewish. She has, however, really committed to the Auschwitz diet. <laughs> wow! Hope it's time for Caitlin and Karen, guys. Come on, there we go. Holy shit. I would rather watch Karen throw cards on the floor than watch Steve Martin and <laughs> Katie Holler go again. I really would. Isn't it funny that the two women were more vicious than the six foot seven guy who went to prison 17 times? <laughs> It was the mic, Mike. Uh, let's go to Bonnie. Bonnie McFarlane. Ooh, well, you can't be biased here because they're both women. What do we think? Uh, yeah, no. Um, I I like them both. They were both very good. Uh, Kurt Metzger's girlfriend was fantastic. Uh, Kurt Metzger's jokes were equally good. <laughs> 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 That, uh, I have to give it to the unknown girl. Uh, Experience-wise, I think she she you know is a little her her, her sluttier. What are you talking about? Uh, she's got bigger boobs. Okay. <laughs> Kayla Bailey. <laughs> Let's go to Annie Letterman. It's so hard for me because I want to go for like my favorite joke of the night. Um, and all right. What was it? I didn't like... I didn't Your know, career. The double vasectomy is good. Yeah, very good. That is really good and just feels so honest. Um, <laughs> and it just, I think it's like annoying for someone to fuck somebody open micers to make fun of someone who fucked a real comic, but... Um, <laughs> it's like, well, like 10 of yours equals like one of hers, but... Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it to the breast cancer joke. So the breast cancer joke wins. Karen. Karen Margolis. It's split right now. Mike Lawrence, what do we think? I love that Caitlin's able to be mean with that NPR afternoon delivery. Uh, <laughs> and I don't, I don't think uh, Kurt wrote those jokes as I didn't hear the words cunt or but <laughs> <laughs> I I think they were both great. Um, I, I think hopefully we'll get a third round. I am going to give this one to Caitlin. I thought she was just Caitlin Bailey. Caitlin takes round one. Round, second. Next round is going to be thirty seconds each. Karen went first last time. Caitlin, you're going to go first this time, ladies and gentlemen. Caitlin Bailey, Karen Margolis. Let's go. forcing Kurt to go to the gym, which is weird. I would never encourage my abuser to get stronger. <laughs> Kara doesn't have a real job, so Kurt pays most of the bills. Well, the important ones. He doesn't pay Con Ed, but he does pay their drug dealer, because when your future isn't bright, there's no reason for your home to be. <laughs> younger than Kurt, uh, people don't realize how stupid she is. They think she's just really mature for her age. Last joke. Alright. I try to understand how Karen ended up with Kurt. I, I have one theory. I imagine that whichever uncle molested you must have made you come really hard. Rape, <laughs> <laughs> never not fun. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. <laughs> no, you're up. First of all, I fell. Second of all... <laughs> the great part of dating Kurt is I only have to suck one dick to get a man to write my jokes. Sherrod Smalls. <laughs> I used to think women
women weren't funny. But then I met Caitlin Bailey, and now I think women should not be allowed to vote. Trump 2016! I gotta give to Caitlin, honestly. Not everybody can pull off a daddy wasn't there vibe and simultaneously pull off a daddy was in there vibe. Caitlin has the <laughs> Caitlin has the writing of a prostitute and the face of an amazing writer. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. 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 This, is, this has been very close. I love it. Uh, Mike Lawrence, what do you think? Well, you can tell Caitlin has one woman show experience because that started out great and then just petered out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I got to give that to Karen. That was fucking yeah. great. Karen McDonald's comes back. Swinging. Let's go to the one and only, Annie Letterman. The one and only. Um, fuck, you guys were both so molested, it's like so crazy. <laughs> it's like, who fucked you harder? Um, it's so hard, like one, you know, has is, was a prostitute but has parents that are still married and... <laughs> like a choice, she did it as a choice. And the other one is being, yeah, fucked by a guy that obviously looks like her dad. Um, <laughs> it's so hard. Karen, you did, that was, I think that, um, that that was strong, that was a, yes, Karen. <laughs> Karen, my yeah, She takes me out to the bottom of the back, it's back up to you. I'm going to give it to Karen as well, so we got to go to a third round. Don't be on the team all the time, don't go. Don't say it's all there. Everyone, let's do my shirts off. Can I just say something? Everyone should go see Bonnie's movie, Women Aren't Funny, The Caitlin Bailey Story. On Netflix. Oh, Amazing. Oh. Save it for your round. <laughs> <laughs> burr, burr, burr. I thought that was great. That was good extra initiative in the middle of the round. That was really good. All right. Uh, Caitlin, you win first last time. Karen, you're going up this time. It's going to be tip for tap. Final round, guys. Let's go. learn comedy, but she actually read it wrong. Caitlin, it's called the rule of threes, not be a three. <laughs> <laughs> Karen is a comedian, a writer, a friend, and a respected colleague, and a lot of other things that give me carpal tunnel from air quoting. <laughs> difference between a $300 hooker and a feminist comedian? Because for Caitlin, it's $300. <laughs> Karen sounds like you're fast-forwarding a Marilyn Monroe movie. I mean, like, you know that there are words, but you can't understand them, and you're confident that they don't matter. <laughs> for Caitlin, getting a spot at the cellar means finding a new genital wart. <laughs> It is not Karen's fault that she comes across as kind of dippy and one-dimensional. She has the body of a fifth grader, which perfectly complements her reading level. I would never try to slut shame Caitlin, but whenever she tells me she killed, I have no idea if it's a show or a fetus. <laughs> Karen looks like a puddle of cum with eyes. But, uh, I should look like a young, dumb, poor Ann Coulter. Uh, One more time, guys. Throw it up for these killer, killer yeah. posters. Wait, wait, wait. A dumb Ann Coulter? <laughs> Bonnie. Listen, I think if either one of you had roasted anyone else in this whole series of uh, roast battles, you would have won. But it's like it's like the best of the best up there right now. But I'm gonna have to go with Karen. Karen. 
Let's go to Mike Lawrence. That was like a fight you'd see at like a Jewish Long Island book club. That was... <laughs> Caitlin's like a librarian seven, all right? Uh, I'm gonna give it to uh, Karen, although Caitlin did answer the question, what if Daria did open mics? <laughs> Oh, Karen, Karen technically won already, but let's go. I just want to see all I want to get the comments. Speak. I mean, as I've learned uh, out throughout the night, thank you, audience, you cunts. Uh, <laughs> that was great. I'm proud of you both. You did a good job. Carpal Tunnel was really funny. Um, I liked the... Hey, Caitlin, fucking... you had some great jokes. That was good. That was really good, but you lost. So, but you did a really good job. But you lost. But you did do a good job. So, Karen Margolis wins. No, stop it for Karen. Just give the front row paper cuts. That's cool. <laughs> Guys, thank you. I mean, I'm not going to give you a prize. That's it. You get to leave now. The Guys, prize Karen. is that they have to still do a podcast together and know that they really hate each other. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of honesty there, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Karen. Have a good night, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs>